What's up everyone, it's Mike here for you with another Shisha Tobacco Review. Tonight I have Alfaker Special Edition Banana Montana. Alright guys, Alfaker Banana Montana, again part of the recently released Special Edition line. This one courtesy of the good folks at hookadashisha.com. So as always a huge thanks to everyone over there. But moving on into the review, the smell. First and foremost what I get is a banana. That's the predominant flavor that I'm getting. To me it's more of a candied banana. Kind of resembles one of those banana runts that you used to eat back in the day. There's also a slight trace of coconut. As far as the blend goes, I'd probably give it a, maybe a 70-30 banana to coconut, but definitely banana the, the most prominent flavor. And of course, that is what's pictured on the can, so kind of to be expected. The cut, typical AS stuff, medium to large choppy leaves, little bit of stems, rather juicy, and it does have the red dye to it. My setup, I'm using my Roy UFO water in the base apple on top bowl with three Exotica Stellar Coals. I've been going quite a while now, probably about a half an hour or so into my second round. So let's see what we have. Wonderful cloud output, definitely no complaints, as would be expected with Alfaker. The flavor strength, as I said, I'm a bit far into the session now. It has died down a little bit, but for starters, it's not an incredibly bold flavor. It's not weak by any means. It's probably in that average range. I'll give this about a 7 out of a 10 on the flavor strength. A nice, relaxing, mellow smoke. The flavor, as I said, just like the smell, First and foremost, I get that candied banana, kind of like a banana runt, really. And then it's backed up by the slight trace of coconut. On the inhale, I get the banana. On the exhale, I get the banana. But on that very tail end is where that coconut comes off, right on that tail end of the exhale. Again, the blend, the mix, probably is 70, 30 or so, somewhere in that range, banana to coconut. But overall, for me, I really enjoy it. I'd rather have a little bit more banana than coconut myself. As far as the heat management goes, Alfaker never really have too many problems. It can be finicky, but it does recover nicely. You just do what you have to with your coals and the heat management, and you'll be good to go. The longevity, as I said, I'm well into the session now. A little bit of flavor loss, but not enough to really have any complaints about it. So very good on the longevity. So my overall rating, I'm going to give this an 8 out of a 10. It's a very good flavor. Nice relaxing smoke. Definitely something that I would smoke quite often and would like to keep on hand as I am a banana fan as well as coconut. So if you're a banana fan, I definitely recommend it. If you're a coconut fan, you can try it out. Again, you're going to get mostly banana, at least I do. Even if you're not a coconut fan but you do like banana, I'd say go ahead and give this one a shot simply because first and foremost you'll get the banana. So that's it for it folks. Can't think of anything else. You can find it at hookadashisha.com. I'll leave a direct link in the description below. Don't forget to use my code for 15% off your entire order. Everyone out there, thanks for watching. If you can, please comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, smoke on.